Hey tribe, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee, and I thank you guys for tuning in to the Card House series. This is a collective message for all placements, all signs. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Parts of the story could resonate, parts might not, and that is totally okay. If you are interested in a private reading with me, you can find that information below. Also, if you are looking to donate to the channel, um, you can do so via Cash App at Pure Black Magic, and that information is below also, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if this resonates with you. It helps circulate the content on YouTube, and it definitely helps to put your energy into these readings if you are one to watch them often, okay? All right, so let's see what we have going on for you guys. A bunch of stuff popping out. We had a flipper, so the strength card, two of pentacles, temperance. You guys are trying to regain balance in a certain situation here. You're juggling a decision. Um, you're either juggling like a decision that needs to be made, or I feel like you're just juggling two different things or possibly juggling multiple things here. Um, yeah, whatever it is, is requiring you to be strong here it takes a great deal of strength okay queen of swords i'm also getting that um you guys are in this queen of swords energy i feel like this is you you may be a libra aquarius or a gemini but i feel like you are in the energy of standing up for your peace standing up for your peace of mind I just, I'm just getting that you like, you're really uh, very fed up with something here. Just fed up of dealing with people, allowing certain people in, allowing, I feel like you feel, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Taking advantage of, unappreciated. And because of that, you have this queen of swords energy about you. You have this queen of swords defense up against pretty much everybody everything and everybody here from what i'm looking at you'll do anything to protect your peace with this temperance card by any means necessary is what i'm getting to okay and it takes a great deal of strength for you to maintain this balance that you have i'm kind of getting that a lot of people you know they try you they try to break your your um your concentration they're trying to interfere with your progress, whatever you're working towards here, but you're not allowing that to happen, okay? So we have the Judgment card, Justice, Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, you made a decision to stand up for yourself. I'm feeling like you guys have just gotten out of a relationship here. That could apply for some of you. Um, but it was just very toxic, very mentally draining. And now you're just on guard. It could just be, you know, the people as a whole. It could be towards romantic, you know, interests. The Nine of Wands is, you know, passionate energy here, so... I just feel like people are trying to get in your energy heavy. Like, I feel like you're not um, accessible. You probably aren't, like, posting a lot on social media. People don't know your moves. They don't know what you're doing, who you're with, your whereabouts. Yeah, you are very protective of your energy here. Eight of Cups, you emotionally walked away from something. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Emperor. So that is um, an energy of control, of taking control here. You can be an Aries or have, I'm getting like an Aries rising. Have Aries highly aspected in your chart. Um, but I feel like you have, like you're a totally new person. I, I do kind of feel like you are a bit... Um, jaded a lot you know 
there's a lot of you guarding yourself here but i feel like that's good i feel like it works out in your favor i feel like people have kind of um conditioned you to be that way you had to learn the hard way but it's it's working out for you you're able to kind of fend for yourself here all right so you have the hermit car you guys yeah i feel like you're in hermit mode you're very isolated just doing the self-work reflecting healing from situations here You have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this is you now. Ten of Pentacles, you're coming out on top. I feel like your finances are good. Your money is good. Something's going great for you right now compared to, you know, recent past energy. But it took you being this type of person. It took you going into hermit mode. It took you cutting off individuals. It took you being selfish with yourself for you to get here, for you to... Um, Kind of sort of for you to for you to realize that you were never really stuck here. I'm just getting the vibe of um I don't know, you feeling trapped or maybe you've always kind of been told you weren't good enough. I feel like you were stuck in some sort of mental ideal of yourself a negative one but you isolating yourself you might have picked up the habit um of not the habit the hobby of meditation or some sort of just you know spiritual practice Yeah, but for someone out there, I just, I feel like this is a heavy glow up. You get real selfish with people. You stop taking all the bullshit. And you leveled up. You're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. So that's competitiveness. What's behind that? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. And Prince of Wands. You can be a fire sign. Um, but yeah, there was just a decision, a heavy decision made here to end all of this conflict, the competition, create a balance for yourself. Queen of Cups. I feel like you have matured emotionally as well. Usually people can kind of like pick at you, pry at you, um, say little petty things and it would take you there. But I feel like you've grown from that. Yeah, you've walked away emotionally from something here. Or you've, you've walked away from, you know, the way you used to handle things out of anger, out of fear, out of defense, out of emotion. I'm getting a sense that you you just don't talk. You keep things real cool, real simple. You say the bare minimum and you focus on yourself. Ten of Pentacles is coming out here again. So double confirmation for something being financially stable for you, something, um, some sort of financial increase coming your way. All right, we got the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This guy definitely does not look happy. It's a fire sign for some of you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's not happy about this. And if they're not a fire sign, um, if they're not like one of those signs then I would say they have it somewhere in their chart, fire somewhere in their chart, or they're just so, um, they're just so upset, passionately against you. We have the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, 
and the Prince of Swords. Yeah, all this person ever did was weigh you down. They held you back. You're focused now, focused on whatever it is that you're focused on. I feel like you were able to let this, this situation, this person go, and now things are growing for you. Your life completely, like, you know, turned around. Not that you were doing bad or you were doing terrible, but when you let go of that energy, um, a lot of great things started happening for you back to back to back to back to back to back. Eight times. All right, we have a relationship here, two of cups. But like you're happy. This can be with a um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see, what is this Prince of Swords? All right, the Sun card. Yeah, they make you happy. Exactly what I just said. And the Three of Pentacles. You guys work great together here. I feel like this is a true partnership. This person could also um, have Leo in their chart. Yeah, it could be a Leo. But you guys work perfectly together. It could also be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Yeah, triple confirmation. Okay, again, they make you happy. Nine of Cups energy. Wish fulfillment. That's outshining everything else in the reading right now. No pun intended for the sun card. I'm just getting the vibe that you guys are a totally different person. Like if whoever this is, you know, that's in your past trying to interfere with your current and your future, I feel like they can't even, you know, approach you. They wouldn't know how to approach you because you're not the same person you were when you were with them. Ten of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like that person or someone here, um, it's like the hatred or the dislike that they have for you is like, whoa. This person never really had good intentions for you. I feel like it was all self-serving. Um, but you're on the brighter side of things now. Again, you've created this whole new life for yourself here. Ten of Cups, Judgment, the Hierophant. Yeah, so you see you minding your business. You can definitely be a Virgo. You're minding your business here. Focusing, manifesting your Ten of Cups. And then the Judgment comes in. I feel like this is your judgment. This is your karma. To have everything that you ever wanted um, or to be with someone who also keeps your cup running over. So just enjoy all of the things that, you know, this past person could not give to you. Okay. You have the higher font. You see how in the photo, he's watching all of this take place for you. People are lined up 
trying to figure out what you have going on here. We have the Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, third time around. Okay. A bunch of cards. Princess of Cups, Seven of Wands. Holding your love back. Holding back your emotions. You're not showing your hand here with this um, Princess of Cups energy. Very defensive. Fighting off, blocking. Deceptive energy. Focused on your Nine of Cups. Your new opportunity. And not looking back. Death card. There's no more of the old person that used to exist. The old person that used to... That was confirmation if you heard that horn. Um, but the old person that used to, you know, give too much of the benefit of the doubt. The person who used to... Let people take advantage of them. The person who never would kind of stand up for what they're worth. There's no more of that person here. Confirmation again. Um, but I'm going to warn you, you have the Eight of Wands and you have the Devil. That toxic energy from the past and we have the Fool card can be in Aries. Some sort of father figure. They are wanting a new beginning. Continuously, constantly trying to encourage you to have a new beginning with them. So some sort of communication could be coming in from them. We have the magician at the bottom of the deck just to manipulate you. Hangman, yeah, back into the stuck energy. Give you false hope of working on the relationship, but it's only going to weigh you down. Six of Wands. Five of Cups. Yeah. If you saw this person in public, like you guys would just unsee him. <laughs> you would walk straight past him. All right, let's see. Ian, Treasure Island. Truth be told. Here's your balance. Here's your reward. Here's you now living in your truth. We have building blocks at the bottom of the deck. You don't even see this person. There's no focus on this person. Behind building blocks, we have the fates. And this is what you get when you keep doing you. All right. Hopefully this helps. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.